Hi, I'm Ollie from Campari and the Cocktail Studio. It's a pleasure to talk to you today about Espelon Tequila and a couple of things about what makes it unique and a great way to drink it. The drink I'm gonna show you is called a Batanga. It's a classic, but it's also really easy to make. Not a fast stretch from a margarita, but also a lot easier. And what you wanna start by doing with a Batanga is giving it a salt rim. A salt rim is as easy as taking a, a cut lime wedge and rubbing it around the rim of the glass and then just dipping it upside down into a shallow saucer of salt. And add 30 mils of Espelon Blanco. Of course, the difference with Espelon Blanco is it hasn't been aged in wood. That's what gives the reposado the color. So 30 mils, Blanco topped up with Coke, and a lime wedge squeezed in. I'll give that a quick stir through, and the sourness of that lime wedge is gonna be great for balancing the sweetness of the Coke. One of the lovely things about Espelon tequila is of course the labels and there's a couple of characters on the, these labels. The guy over here is called Guadalupe and also his girlfriend Rosarita. Now they're, um, they're grinning kind of cheekily because they're in the middle of a marketplace and what they're trying to do is keep some Aztec traditions in the marketplace. You can see the traditional bread and also the flowers and a couple of things that they're selling over here. The rooster, of course, is called Ramon, and he's their leader. You can see he's leading them through battle, and they're fighting against tyranny in, um, in what would eventually lead to the independence of Mexico. So a nice little story inspired by 19th century artists in Mexico as well. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoy that batanga. I'll see you next time.